Hi guys, it's Lizzie here. So today I'm going to do a review and first impression of the Revolution Brow Tint. Um, so I bought this the other day in Superdrug for £5. It comes in three shades, I believe, um, taupe, medium brown and dark brown. I got dark brown, but um, my hair at the moment is mostly roots and so I don't really know what colour it is. I generally go really dark with my brows anyway, well I normally dye them blue-black. So. Um, yeah, I thought I'd give this a go. I've not tinted my brows in months, possibly not at all this year. I can't remember. Um, so I've got a few things with me to help. I've got two brushes with me because I don't know what I will need. One is very thin um, and the other is a bit bigger. I'm not really sure what will be best. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that my brows are clean and that there's no foundation in them. Um, so I've just got some cotton buds and marcella water. Right, so I'm just going to go over them lightly. Now I don't know if this stuff ruins your brush as well. Um, it might come with a brush, it's just because from the like, little Instagram video I saw, the woman used a separate brush. I've not opened it yet. Alrighty, there they are, my little blonde eyebrows. Um, so I'm going to open the product now. It says on the back that you apply it for two hours and that it will last up to three days. Which, in all honesty, seems a bit odd because I tint my brows and I put the tint on for three to five minutes and it lasts three to four weeks. So, I've taken the product out. Um, it's vegan and cruelty free. Right, so I'm gonna open this. Oh gosh, so it is like a thick brush. Um, and it is very black looking. I'll just zoom you in and show you. So there's the product and the brush. The brush doesn't look very precise. Um, it's a very thick product. Okay, so I'm going to have to use another brush. Um, now this was a cheap one from a like art shop. It was like £1.50. Um, this one I got in a makeup subscription box. It's by PHB. It's a really good brush. It will cost more to replace. But it does seem a better shape. For this sort of thick thing and then this might be better at the end so i might have to use both so i'm going to get the product and the brush and just sort of brush it onto the ends i'm really scared i've taken some before photos of my brows as well in case we forget how small and blonde they are and i'm going to start in the middle So you meant to peel this off, so I imagine you meant to apply it quite thick. They're gonna be so dark, aren't they? It's a very easy formula to use. It's actually relatively smooth. I'm just so aware that this shape will be sort of like permanently there. Not permanent because it's just three days, but because I think it stains the skin, which is why it's only three days, it's going to be quite blocky. Overall, I'm very happy with that shape, but I'm just going to go in with the thin brush just to neaten it up. I feel like I've got to work quickly. Is that a good brow? I've lost all sense of judgement. Like that difference in colour is ridiculous. Maybe dark brown was a bad choice. Right, I'm going to move on to the other brow now. Also, I know I'm fully covering the hairs, but I don't know if I'm really pushing down onto the skin. So I might have to do another sort of like coat and really push it in as well. You can feel it starting to get a bit tackier as you apply it. This definitely makes you concentrate on your brows. God. Right. So now I'm going to move on to the small brush again with this one. This one's a bit worse. Okay, there we go. I'm going to quickly clean my brushes and then I will take a photo. It washed off really well from the brushes. I just used tap water so it was like 
not really cold or really warm. I just moved them on the back of my hand and all the product came out. Um, and it did come out a bit like solid and peely. So I guess it had already started to dry and it came out really smoothly. Which actually with these, maybe if they don't peel off really easily, maybe warm water on a cotton bud would remove that excess. It just says apply to a clean brow using the applicator or an angled eyebrow brush for extra definition. Clearly that's what I've got going on. Leave to develop for up to two hours for semi-permanent brow tint that lasts up to three days. We will see. Um, the time is 11.04 so I will check back in at four minutes past one or thereabouts. <laughs> I look great. Um, oh god, I hope it turns out okay. <laughs> I've now got to wait two hours like this, so hopefully like the parcel doesn't get delivered or something turns up at the door. Who knows? Hopefully no one sees me like this. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll get back to you after the two hours and we're going to attempt to peel it off and hope my eyebrows don't come with it. Wish me luck. <laughs> so it's been two hours now since I applied the tint. Um, it feels fine, it doesn't feel sticky at all, it doesn't itch or feel irritating or anything like that. But one thing to point out actually, if you are um, sort of sensitive to these things or to hair dye, then do test a bit, maybe just put a little bit on the back of your neck or on your arm, leave it for a bit and see if it gets red or rashy or irritated before you go straight in close to your eyes. I've tinted my eyebrows and eyelashes and hair for years and I've never had a reaction. So I felt pretty confident to just apply it, but you know, know your own skin. Um, I posted a picture of this on my Instagram stories and Makeup Revolution actually <laughs> sent me a message saying that it will be fine. So we will see. I've got a little bottle of warm water with me. I'm just going to try and peel it. Should I go that way? Hmm. Okay, yeah that's coming off quite easy. I'm going to zoom you in. Oh, it's not pulling at all. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. And it doesn't really feel like, yeah, I'm tweezering my hairs or anything like that. It's quite difficult. I think a thicker layer would have really helped. There we go. It's all gone. There's my eyebrow. Um, it's just like these little bits now. So from the looks of it, it is the skin underneath that has been tinted more than the hairs looking dark. Like when I tint my eyebrows with normal hair dye, well specifically for the eyebrow, but you know what I mean. It um, always it looks so different to this. Like the skin's barely stained at all, but the hairs themselves are really dark. Whereas this, my hair still looks very thin. Thin? Light. <laughs> so I've peeled off both. I'm just gonna brush through them with a um, spoolie. Just to remove any other little bits. Okay, there we go. Um, so I'll show you up close. I don't know if you can really see, but the hairs themselves aren't actually that much darker. My eyelashes are terrible. I've lost my favourite mascara and this one's just not very good. This is sort of purpley shade. Like it's not, I mean, I have purple hair so it's not actually that bad for me. But I imagine if you had dark brown hair, this wouldn't suit you if you wanted a natural looking colour. Um, yeah. What do you think? So overall, my thoughts on the Makeup Revolution brow tint is that it works, you know, they're definitely darker for sure. I think the tone of the colour, like the depth of it is really good, I like how dark they are, but it is slightly purple, which I do find a bit odd. Um, and I can see why it's only going to last a few days, like when you exfoliate and wash your face it's going to just lift that staining off of your skin. Um, which for me isn't really what I'd want. I do prefer having darker hairs and it means I don't have to put in brown mascara 
Um, but I can also see that this would work really well for someone that has bald gaps in their eyebrows or very thin eyebrows because you could draw on the shape and thickness that you want and you're going to get that just layer of colour um, which if you were tinting your own hairs like the way I normally do if there's no hairs there to tint you can't tint them anyway um, so it might be really good to do a combination of the two like apply this and then put tint over the top after or you know tint them first and then do this to just fill in the gaps so that they're permanently filled in well not permanently you know for three days once this has worn off, I am going to do a brow tinting video, so I could then, after I've done that, reapply this and we can compare the results and see if it does work well together. Not actually mixing the products together, doing one then the other. Um, but yeah, from a distance, I think they look great. I think it's very easy to use. Um, it felt completely comfortable. It didn't pull my hairs out, which was my main concern. Um, but yeah, you do have to be very careful because I can even see underneath where it was a bit jaggedy, where I didn't clean it up properly. It has now stained that shape, so um, yeah, take your time, be very patient because it is there for a couple of days. So yeah, overall, I will most probably use this again, maybe, but not that often. I definitely lean towards tinting. I prefer that because it just lasts so much longer and it is cheaper for me because I already have the stuff, so um, yeah. But I think this does have a place in the world for people with very thin eyebrows or with gappy eyebrows just to help fill them in and have that like cast of shadow behind them of colour. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know below if you've tried it. Tag me in any pictures where you use it so I can see how yours turned out. And um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Take care, I'll see you all soon. Bye bye. You don't need your eyebrows to do you, you can pull back. We just look at that eyes.